Greetings, YouTube. Needless to say, Necropolis is difficult enough when everything is actually working. But Mr. Daddy Zoom, aka Anthony, hit me up because his goal was to do kind of prep for Necropolis. Remember, we are running out of time as a community to uh, cash in those incredible free rewards. I think the 15th is when that hits. And suddenly, certain phones are going into what's called the Google beta mode, which turns your interface into a hard drugs kaleidoscope of colors that looks more like a magic eye book out of the 1990s than it does a mobile game. That's what happened to Anthony. He hit me up with a few photos. Look at this. This thing looks like... Um, it's like a sequel to a Transformers movie. You got the all spark infecting your path. So, needless to say, Daddy Zoom was a uh, little concerned. Look at this. This is actually a video shot of the background. Just showing what it's like to, uh, to witness this firsthand. And I always say, you know, the apothecary is not at all a good substitute for the revive farming that was lost. But it's better than nothing. So let's see him jump into Necropolis. And uh, just see how it looks. Woo, look at that. Didn't that just hurt your eyes? Everything, everything is... Um, multiplied. It's like a Doctor Strange interface of madness. Needless to say, this is a huge problem. Huge problem, particularly when you're wanting to do another Path of Necropolis as this summoner is. Interestingly enough, got a lot of paths done on the Necropolis, but event quests, not so much. I have heard from several people who say they don't even do event quests anymore. They just don't feel like it's worth the energy and the time. They'd rather just spend that energy on uh, everything from incursions to war to especially battlegrounds. But uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of a nightmare. So, Kabam Jax has heard from several people who have seen this, including J Lord Mile J. And he responded with the following Hey, everyone, the game team has found a pattern. In these reports, all impacted accounts are part of a Google beta build. The belief is that summoners may have opted into this at some point. The Google store kept them in the same category indefinitely, and this is causing some issues. So the recommended uh, course of action for anyone experiencing this is to navigate to your Google store and leave the beta build. So, not only was that forum post out, but we had Mr. Anthony, Mr. Daddy Zoom, file a help ticket to get Kabam to help him with this because obviously he was frustrated. So uh, it starts off by asking what kind of device he's running, date and time, all standard stuff. And, uh, and then it says, we have found that these details can help us to investigate concerns of this nature. So I think that's a really good starting point. Kabam used to have this uh, kind of generic, pretty impersonal copy and paste response to issues and I'm sure they still do in certain cases but this is a much better than previously seen copy and paste template for customer service issues so eventually he provides the info and then he is told please navigate to the Marvel Contest of Champions page in the Play Store and scroll down until you see the join the beta entry and click leave button this should resolve the issue so that is a fantastic, succinct, uh, to the point, good news story. Which again, I love reporting on. When there's good news, I love to talk about it. And so then, the game has just updated itself and the screen has gone wrong. What do I do? Attach the following. Eventually, greeting summoner. Not at all. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. It was my pleasure to assist. 
Shout out to Colton. Colton, I don't know who you are, but you are responding to uh, customer service problems like a true MVP, man. Not all heroes wear capes. And Colton, this cape today is for you. If you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a wonderful rest of your year. Forget day or week or even month. No, Colton wants you to have a good year because Colton is just that kind in 2024. And it's only the first couple weeks of January. So, yes, this is how it used to look. Uh, he sent back the photos and the visuals. But regardless, a true nightmare scenario has ended, at least for some people, with a happy ending. And for those of you who maybe are facing this, who feel like you're out of options, just do what uh, that Colton suggestion is regarding leaving that beta build. And that should resolve the issue, hopefully. I don't play on an Android phone or tablet. So this is one of those scenarios where I would never have known about had Mr. Daddy Zoom not hit me up. So I'm very thankful to report on this. I love awesome stories. When Kabam does great with their customer service and helps people, it is not just an obligation for me on this channel. It is also a fantastic opportunity to praise them. I am just as frustrated at the people in this community that only want to complain about Kabam and never give them any credit for anything, as I am the people that want to always praise them and never give them criticism for anything. I think both extremes of the community are harmful, but most people I have met in this community are rational, um, mature adults that just want a game to work properly that they're paying a lot of money for. Even if they're not paying money for they're certainly investing a lot of their personal time into Anthony, thank you again, slash Daddy Zoom. I'm glad we got to cover the story. It's a really important one. Kabam, thank you for being so great. Colton, MVP today. That's the biggest takeaway.